All right, Patricia Wright, or excuse me, Nicole writes, question. If you lost someone almost a couple years ago and you're out of the depression funk, is it safe to date again? I feel better today in a long time. If you lost someone close to you. You know, it's interesting as I'm reading this, I'm thinking of my son who passed away. There he is, Connor. And I remember I actually was dating um, or I put, was putting myself out there. Quite frankly, I was in so much pain and I just wanted some attention. I wanted some love. It was as if my heart got ripped out and, and it was hard, you know, and I wanted, it was like that line from the movie, Jerry Maguire, I need you to complete me. I wanted someone and I was almost desperately dating. And interesting enough, I was talking about him as well, thinking I was healed. It took me, it took a couple of years to actually let go of the idea that on some level, he even abandoned me. Isn't that terrible to think I thought he abandoned me. And so there's no doubt there is a, a time to heal. Now, I want to share with you a quick story. Not everybody needs that, per se. I know a woman who just started dating a man. She was one month into dating a man. And she also lost her son named Connor. I've known three women who've lost children named Connor. Can you believe that? All right around my Connor's age, 19, 20, 19, 18, 19, or 20. It's just terrible. And she just started dating a man and she could have easily collapsed. And thankfully he leaned into the relationship as a support person in her life. And, um, and eventually they actually got married. It brought them two closer together because she could be her most authentic, vulnerable, transparent self. She was radically honest with him. Ladies, I'm such a big proponent of genuine radical honesty because that creates intimacy into me you see if you're not familiar with the book uh emotional intimacy by uh, robert masters i highly recommend checking this out because what relationships are lacking today is real intimacy real because people feel emotionally unsafe so so just in general men and women alike feel emotionally unsafe because the number one emotional health issue excuse me is i'm not good enough i'm not lovable and i'm not likable and dating triggers that wound like nobody's business. So coming back to your original question, you lost someone very special to you. I certainly believe that a year or two of, he, of just grieving and experiencing the pain actually better prepares you for when someone special comes in your life because most likely my hope is you'll learn to appreciate Here's the thing that loss does. It creates genuine appreciation. I want you to think about this for a moment. Anytime you've gone to a funeral, have you walked out of the funeral saying, I'm not going to waste one day of my life. I'm not going to waste one day of my life. I know I have. And usually three days later, I go back to my patterning. Patterning loss temporarily creates a, this place of appreciation a place of humbleness. And so there is a, the beauty of loss is maybe we don't operate from our ego as much and we can operate from more of a heart centered space. This is why ladies, I'm so tired of the dating rhetoric centered around men must do this and women must do that. Let's throw out the fucking gender rhetoric. Read this book. If the Buddha dated, because it's all about how to connect with someone at a heart centered level. I remember buying this book and reading it in two hours. I've never read a book from cover to cover in one day. And this one, I couldn't stop. I, I just fell in love with the messaging in this book because it's all about how to connect with someone in a heart centered space. And, and sadly and thankfully loss actually humbles us. It takes us out of our ego and into our heart. And so thank Connor, you inspired my book. What the heck is self love? Anyway, you inspired this book and I want to thank you for that. And I want to thank you because you allow me through this experience to be a better coach. And I think that's what loss does because it connected me more to my heart and my hope for you as well. 
uh, Nicole, it's connected to your heart. And I hope you're ready to go out and meet a great guy to begin a juicy, delicious, healthy relationship with someone. Giving you lots of love and giving you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of love as well. Thanks so much for that question. All right, we have time for one more today. If you'd like to purchase the super sticker, super chat. Nicole just said, I got your book. It's great. Thank you so much. 